Services or Cheers Corporation. I have with me their president and CEO, Dr. John Alvin Montano. We also have Dr. Ahed Al Najjar and Miss Sandy Montano. I was about to say, Doctor, good morning, good morning. to our fine gentleman and lady. Uh, let's talk about Cheers. Uh, first of all, it's really for emergency purposes. Yes, exactly for emergency. But we also conduct trainings to prepare people to respond during emergency. That's the thing. Eh? Uh, when you say preparing people for emergencies, first stop is knowing the right numbers to call. Yes, exactly. Right. But this is a uh, an active participation, meaning you can save a life. Uh, this is beyond what CPR. It's beyond what. What exactly do you train people to do? Yeah, we train people to, of course, uh, respond in emergencies like performing CPR. Uh, basic first aid or other grades of first aid and then uh, perform advanced care if needed to do advanced airway management intubate the patient and perform uh, defibrillation if needed for the and, patient and this is for the common citizen you know it's it's not like I should be a med student or it should be like I have a back, even college level well, can well, a high school student it, it depends uh, we have uh, certain programs that caters to healthcare professionals like doctors and nurses we also have uh, programs that caters to lay rescuers or other professionals like uh, lawyers, architects. So anybody who would simply like to be able to help just in case yes, yes, something happens. Exactly. Let's define EMS. What is EMS? EMS is stand for Emergency Medical Services. Um, it's, it's a huge uh, protocol and procedure carried under the EMS. And anything happen outside the hospital, we call it EMS, or the hospital care management. Anyone participating in the community is a part from the EMS through the public education, through the first aid program, CBR and AD program. So that's actually an ideal state already that knowing every community, but in the Philippines, every barangay level should actually have this in place. And unfortunately, that's not exactly what's that's happening. happening yeah. Right? So uh, how do you solicit ballet? volunteers? Or do you go from... Uh, town to town? How, how do you spread your cause? Actually, uh, we begin by uh, addressing uh, groups of people uh, requiring the train. For example, uh, nursing students, it's their requirement. requirements. Yes. Yeah. Because that's I mean, so it's easier for them to be convinced to undergo these certified trainings. And then after that, we go to uh, LGUs and then we make proposals to the mayor uh, upgrading or improving their EMS system. Ano sila na iiba yung nga? Uh, you already mentioned part ng nursing training. Yes. Pero sa mga doctors, kasi di ba there's interns. Yes. There's a, what's a above intern? Resident. Mm -hmm. Residency. Uh, is it related to that or no? This is a plus na lang or covered na kasi nila yun? Well, it depends. Sometimes it's part of the requirement and if already they are, uh, let's say they have the training, it's a matter of improving or one thing unique of uh, one thing unique unique about Cheers is we offer international certification. Exactly, uh, you have uh, partners like the American Heart Association, yes. who has uh, uh, many affiliates. Uh, I'm representing the American Heart Association as a global regional faculty for the Middle East and Africa and Asia. And the uh, role of American Heart Association is to enhance the CBR science and the ECC care. Any medical uh, professional. If you say it from physicians up to the <coughs> technicians, they need to go through uh, short courses. We need to enhance their skills about the science of uh, cardiovascular diseases. And uh, those uh, courses need to be changed or uh, changed every five years. Do the researches, do the uh, statistics, to proven uh, this wrong to give 30 compression or this wrong to give 15 compression or wow. to increase them. It's not technical, huh? Yes, yes. Sir, yeah. So, okay. uh, that all physicians, all medical team, we need to go for these courses in regular pace, which means every two years, because our validity is two years. I don't know with the way Dr. Ahed just actually described it. This is more than just breathe and pump four yeah. tires yes. and breathe. Yes. And it's not even just about checking pulses like that. Yes. Those are very, very basic. This is, uh, let's put it beyond like someone who's in an accident and you see like a shoulder limp or actually bikey accident. A lot of people think it's just uh, dislocated. Let's try to push it in. And you pull it's already a smashed, uh, yeah. the socket is smashed. So these things, you make it worse if you do not know 
what to look yeah, for, yes, yeah. exactly. how to do things to make it better. Because uh, so we see you as like the delivery guys mm. between the hospitals or the doctors and between this what the area where it happened. So you're the guys midway. Yeah, but uh, it's going beyond as a delivery system. Uh -huh. um, of course, in, in our Philippine setting, uh, typically, especially in the province, uh, the ambulance system is just a transport system, yeah. bringing the patient on this point of accident, going towards the hospital. But to the true sense of EMS, there is already treatment being done going towards the hospital. Even if you have the facility, you're already transmitting the data to a nearby hospital. So they're prepared by the yes, time you're Yes, by the time they receive the patient, Everything's ready. The doctor is ready. They already know the condition. Versus that would, questions yes. upon arrival. That will uh, expedite the treatment for the patient. Wow. Okay. So what about the, the, the actual uh, training? How long does this take? Uh, two, three days? Or a weekend? It, it depends on the, the program. program yeah. There's a, a basic programs and there's advanced programs. Basic program usually takes from four hours to eight hours. Uh, it's a one day. Hours but that's basic. That's basic. basic. And usually you run under uh, medical team or public, or nearby, nearby public uh, community and workplace. We don't call them public, we call them community and workplace. Uh, they are involved first in program on CBR and AAD. Now, for the medical team, there is advanced and there is basic. And usually it takes from four hours to eight hours to up to 16 hours. Okay. So it's, and it's hands on, huh? It's yeah. not lecture. No, no. You're not just sitting there. You you really like you. I believe you even go into emergency rooms. There's a, that's part of your training. Uh, American Heart Association they enhance the the way how we teach the modules, and um, they adapt the new module course of practice while watching. Uh, but there is so many evidence that practice while watching shows enhancement, uh, self confidence for the students. Of course, uh, of course. It's become more better than before, and now currently American Heart Association. In November, this coming November, we'll do something new, uh, we we'll call it roll out, right. new guideline. Every five years, we get new guidelines. So you're always oh. updated? Yes. yes. Always so new technologies, yes. new ways of improving? Yeah. So uh, we are working on this 2005 guideline until now. In 2000, this coming 2010, in November, November yeah. yeah, we'll be on for the next five years. Wow, okay, so if you can hold on until October, no, no. <laughs> you get the new program in November. You can work in the old program. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think we are releasing the instructor tool kits and other stuff and materials. Okay, I, I like how Dr. Ahed actually said that there is a practical training. Yeah. This is one thing to be involved, like, you know, you memorize and you yeah. know what to do in your head, but then you're faced with a bloody person. <laughs> Yeah. And it just reads, <laughs> right? It's all day to just shout instruction and not want to touch that person. <laughs> so it's it, very interesting uh, education material happening with American Heart. It's a, it's a revolution, I, I can call it. Uh, we saw the results. I have been uh, supervising Middle East, Africa, and I uh, have been in Russia. I see the interaction with the students more confident than in, a, in a before. They said that uh, this is an interesting topic, the way how we can learn it. There is nothing like the typical instructor in front of you and giving lectures. Uh, it's not there. It's all practice when watching and all enhancement and doing all the things by hand. So I, I found there's a lot of changes happening with them. Well, that's good. Because again, it's uh, the whole practical application all of, of all yeah. these things. You don't just necessarily <coughs> think, I know what to do. You should also be able to do yeah. what to do. Actually, in addition to what I had mentioned, uh, the manner of conducting the training is uh, scenario based. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, you'll be given a scenario. What if there's a fire? Yes, a car for example, accident? You, 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 you are facing a patient that say suffered a vehicle accident. Yeah. So you're given a scenario, you perform the skills based on that given scenario. Yeah, like a broken bone here? Yes. Or we uh, actually, we, we also employ the Muraj technique. Muraj is uh, the science of making uh, mock up wounds. So you'll be facing a bloody patient, but wow. of course, those are special effects <laughs> to enhance realism. <laughs> Yeah, we currently we are doing uh, a program called EMTD, Emergency Medical Technician Basic. And this is the first line for the EMS program on, on the brain hospital setup. And this EMTD adapted from the ER EMT, Australian Registry of the EMT. Uh, myself as an EMT uh, assessor for the ER EMT. Mm -hmm. So we are conducting this program and we have something called triage. In the end of the five days, six days, it's a bridging course for the nurses to go for this program. Triage. Uh, yeah, triage. So triage meaning is assessing the patient according to the highest priorities. You have treated first. You have more than two. You have more than three patients. 
victims. And there's a priority yes. who has yes. a big There should be a system because yes. if there's no system, people will be in chaos. All over the place. Sometimes people will be devoting more time on this particular yeah. patient. All resources are given here. No, and that's uh, the, and the part of one of the families of the people who, you know, I'm a mother. And of course, compared to I have something with my child, even with the slightest wounds, you know how parents can yeah. get. They say, no, my, we need attention now. <laughs> and apparently someone's dying yeah. over there. That's why there should be a crowd control. So the, the non-medical process should be away from the patient. Oh, good point. Okay, yeah. so I, I'm, I'm a parent as well. I understand parents yeah. out there, but let them do their job. Yeah, yeah right? I'm wondering how, uh, Miss Sandy, how have uh, people been responding to Cheers, knowing that there is a Cheers program? Uh, a lot of people go yeah. to you. When we've started, they always say that, oh, it's okay, next time. But now that, you know, when we want to be globally competitive, especially yeah. for our nurses in the Philippines, that, you know, Dolly said that there is no... Um, they, there is no employment right now for nurses because yeah, the, the demand went down. Yeah, exactly. So this is the best thing to do now, nurses, for you to enroll in this class because you equip yourselves. Equip Make yourself. your resumes look yeah. nicer. <laughs> uh, you will be globally competitive. Not only that, you will be at par with the international standards. Because again, of your international affiliation, yes, like yes. what Dr. Ahed said. So this is what this is one of our vision before when we put up Cheers Corporation that certainly. Um, from, from our country, we will have to employ nurses locally and globally and also to respond with our um, disasters here because when we talk about disasters, I mean, we there talk about so many years, years so many years. Yeah. So this is the best <laughs> from landslides to disasters. Yeah. And why should we always just rely on help abroad but yeah. we can help ourselves? Yes, yes. That's, true. that's right that's here. Right. Right. So just in case people are interested, kung interested po kayong matuto, where can we find Cheers website phone numbers? Okay, uh, phone number. Our phone number is uh, zero two. Uh, being in Manila, it's uh, zero two. Error code and then four one three nine two seven one. And uh, we have a website that yes. is uh, www.cheers.cheers go wide web.com so you could get information our location is we are located at uh, Quezon Avenue very near high top supermarket if you're coming from uh, Mabuhay Rotonda you won't uh, go uh, after EDSA so it's between uh, EDSA and uh, Quezon Avenue the corner it, it should be fun to go in a group yeah. yeah not necessarily just by yourself it's nice to get a group of friends together yeah. so you learn together Yes. Right? Especially work if you have families. Working as a team. Yeah, That's work as a team. Yes. Teamwork. Thank you very, very much for your time. It's really good to know that organizations like Cheers is here. So that, you know what, we should take advantage yes. Yes. of having people like you. So they're always prepared. Yeah. Actually, um, there was a time that we had to do rescue team in Palawan mm -hmm. during the Palawan Pambansa. Where in, there was this injured um, player and then they would not call medics or first aiders. They called Cheers. So everybody thought that, you know, Every, uh, there, there was this um, thing to celebrate, so they say cheers, cheers, cheers. So everybody's clapping, and then we work simultaneously, smoothly, and no, but no one um, even uh, noticed that there is an emergency. We well, got, yeah. uh, sorry, uh, we got a very good experience in the Philippines. The major experience that we faced here in the Philippines is with the uh, Princess in Palawan, mm -hmm. with the uh, Mayor Hagadon. He had that the enhancement the community to be integrated with the EMS. Yeah. And this is, uh, uh, I feel it that it's a revolution because he's following the same steps in Dubai, same steps in the States, uh, South Africa, by implementing uh, first aid kits and AED uh, machines or units in the public places. And he trained even the people who's working under the ground river. Uh, this is amazing. Well, we can only hope that uh, we can follow in that mayor's footsteps. Yeah. Uh, every barangay yes. in the country mm -hmm. should have one. Para hindi na tayo iiyak. Na, because again, I, I just want to raise uh, before I let these uh, distinguished people go. You believe that everything's preventable. Yes. Not actually everything, but uh -huh. there are some things that we can prevent. Yes. And if in case they do happen, you can still uh, make the best. Yes. You are prepared. You are prepared. Yes. You are prepared. You are prepared. You are prepared. Yes. Okay, preparation rather than cure. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. We have more to talk about. Thank you, Dr.